The successor to the best bang for buck Bitcoin miner is here. However, its successor is not exactly the best bang for buck. I'm Voss here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. I do a little bit of that Bitcoin mining thing. Let's dig. I have a sport case open. We are trying to fight spammers and scammers in the comment section and uh, we effectively nuked about three years of comments. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pissed off about it, but I just simply ask you to leave a comment down below. Uh, help me get comments back on the channel, I guess, at this rate. Bit Deer Seal Miner A2 Pro, 255 terahash a second, 3,790 watts. Basically 15 joules uh, per terahash or watts per terahash of efficiency. 1339 daily income electricity for me because electricity uh, utilities uh, scam me. $7.28 to run, $6.11 into my pocketo. Uh, we're an affiliate with Coin Mining Central. You can check them out the link out in the video description below. Most importantly, use code VOSCOIN to save some coin. Uh, so they have the order up, other people putting orders up uh, for these as well. Uh, pricing's on par there, especially after the discount code. Uh, and these will be coming out in uh, delivery. This is supposed to be in November. Just had a video talking about BitDeer Technologies, BTDR, like the BitDeer company, the BitDeer stock, the BitDeer products, right? These different seal miners, uh, as well as uh, many people don't know, realize they have a massive uh, self run uh, self-hosted mining farm with their own gear they're funneling their own gear right just to their own farm and i'm talking by the hundreds and hundreds of megawatt if you don't know the ceo is jihan Wu. okay basically uh the og face of bitmain yeah i know you know that name if you know anything about bitcoin mining i'm mining farms doing better this week than last week as far as my uptime and hash rate goes and different hurdles all the kind of stuff i could talk about on that front from Get struck down by lightning to immersion systems failing to some issues at a hosting facility and on and on. However, I've got three bit deer seal miner A2s. And here's the deal these things were the best bang for buck uh, when basically they were up and for sale. But now we've got the A3 here on the horizon. That's the next generation. And the A3 Pro Air is better than the Bitmain Antminer S21 XP, which is the current best, you know, air-cooled, highest efficiency Bitcoin miner out. Obviously, the S23 has already been announced, and that's better than the S21 XP, and the A3 Pro Air is basically an S23. Trading blows there, but to be honest, it's better to think of these companies more like sister companies, in my opinion, from my point of view, but maybe it's not quite like that in their actual headquarters. Looking at mining profitability on mining now and comparing all this data, right? We see the S21 XP, $7.12 a day. So it's actually more profitable, right? Than the A3 Air, right? But that don't get it twisted. That's not the A3 Pro Air, which comes in there above it. And the rumored pricing of the A3 uh, an A3 Pro is, is around $5,000 as a futures order, right? And these other miners have current in stock availability. You keep going up the list, you get up here to the S23. And that's going to be a couple grand more than everything we've been talking about. I think the BitDeer is going to continue to bring the pricing down on these different devices. But if you wanted a best bang for buck Bitcoin miner right now, you're looking at the S21 Pro, you're looking at the S21 Plus. I think that both of these miners are kind of crappy. Right, but at the end of the day, when it comes to Bitcoin mining, you're probably going to just vote with your wallet and say that I want the best bang for buck I can get because I'm here to get an ROI return on my investment. That's how I think about it. Like, I think the S21 series from Bitmain sucks and their warranty support sucks. Uh, it's absolute trash, especially for a company this size. It's atrocious. But all this efficiency is like it's pretty much all on par, it's pretty much all trading blows. Or you look at the S21 Plus, $3,000. $300 from CMC before our discount code. You look at the S21 XP, it's $5,700. It's hard to justify that efficiency jump of, what, three watts per terahash uh, for S21 Plus for over $2,000, right? And the S21 Pro normally trades around a similar price as the S21 Plus. Uh, if you want a smaller at home Bitcoin miner that still is current generation, uh, roughly efficiency, mines over Wi Fi, quiet, all that stuff, you're looking at the Avalon Q. 
Uh, so just wanted to touch on that if you're not looking at these full-size ASIC miners, which is everything we've been talking about today, right? And these full-size ASIC miners is the application-specific integrated circuit miners. How many times has he said it on the channel? Too many. Uh, they're full-size miners, 240 voltage outlet, right? 220 plus there. They make a lot of noise. They make a lot of heat. Uh, if you're looking for a starter miner, check out Power Mining. Use our link, please, and our code VOSCOIN. Uh, to grab one from them. They're a manufacturer and seller and I think their stuff's the best simply put they're in Europe They ship worldwide, but the bottom line is for like a little bit over hundred bucks You can get the best starter miner, you know, give it a spin uh, Check it out. Give it a shot right with uh, the the bit gamma You would have a 1 in 18,000 chance uh, to hit a Bitcoin block over the next year earning like nearly three hundred fifty thousand dollars or more importantly over 3.125 Bitcoin if you're mad, man, you want to take maybe like the S21 Plus, uh, at the S21 Pro, the BitDeer A2, which like, and I'll talk about that here in a second, but basically those were so popular at their price point, plus the massive farm BitDeer was building, uh, those quickly came and went off the market, and I haven't seen them since, and now they're back with a worse price point. Uh, so 236 uh, hash rate Terra hash gives you a uh, one in 84 chance. And you're like, okay, but what if I had an S21 XP? How about a one in 73? According to Solo Luck, the best Bitcoin solo money calculator in the fucking history of man. Dude, we made it. I think it's cool. I and mean, if you have uh, fe feature feedback, let me know. We'll improve it. Simple, effective, on brand. More data if you want it, including a Bitcoin having countdown. But at this hash rate, at this price, I, I just don't care. I save nearly a thousand bucks, or if I care so much about efficiency and I want it right now, it's hard to stomach the S21 XP at that price in this market. It just, it really is. It, it really is. It, and like, because you also have all these additional expenses that can be easy to glaze over, right? Maybe you can just throw it in your garage. We've talked about this and, it, you know, I'll, I'll link this out below, YouTube or whatever stuff. But the point is, like, you need something to plug this into the wall other than just a power cable. You technically can do a direct plug, but I don't like that. That's not my style. And, like, this gives you uh, better usage of that um, actual circuit there, right? And then maybe you want several miners. Like, boom, you're already looking at making your own mining shed. Uh, you're looking at buying a pre-built container like we have the digital shovel mini and nano pods um, on the farm or you're looking at like doing immersion which I would not recommend at all with this current generation of miners unless you get an immersion specific and immersion ready miner and most of those will not work on three phase electricity. I will say it's cool to see that they have this new heat reuse bundle because if you reuse immersion, it's becoming a lot more interesting. My big spit, the big spit we called it, the six miner system is failing. Uh, I cannot run six miners in there anymore. It will not work. Uh, so I have another video on, on that. Uh, but undunking miners, right? Getting them cleaned up back to air cooled one they're never the same two it's freaking nasty work three it's a waste of time and i don't have much time right now the only single phase immersion ready bitcoin miner you can buy right now are the canon uh immersion miners like the a1566i i love that thing it's been freaking awesome uh but it's just it, i wish it was cheaper i wish it was more efficient and i'm, I'm really waiting and excited for a, no, a new generation of those where maybe i'll look at updating my fleet but it's just not a big enough leap and a good enough bang for buck over the gear that I already have deployed in there. And, and it's just, you know, it's like doubling down. It's essentially, it's taking a bigger risk there, right? You'll pay over $1,000 per miner, all in, all said and done, uh, to immerse them. So what am I thinking? Where's my head at? I think that fortunately, BitDeer has had so much success that they're not going to price their stuff as aggressively anymore because they have all this rack space that they have and they're continuing to build out. And I'm talking much more uh, self-mining capacity that they're making as many miners as they absolutely can and they're going bloop, bloop, sending them to their facility right and so then just for some to hedge their bets to get some you know cash flow because if they have the ability of selling and making money why not They'll keep making them, they'll keep selling them to plebs like me and you. At these prices, I think the A2 Pro is a complete flop. It's not a bad miner, but it's 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 pretty much in line uh, with the other ones, if not a little bit worse value there. And I mean, you can just divide the hash rate by the number and look at the efficiency and come to your own conclusions. Um, my electricity rate efficiency is everything. 
and the major mining farms are not messing around right and they they have three phase and i talked to some of these guys and they are actively and i'm talking like all of them building hydro 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 the hydro miners are a better bang for buck they're more efficient they have more density whether you love them or hate them but you need three phase and a proper facility to run them they're starting to invest in the infrastructure and to have all of that hydro cooling tooling doesn't quite make sense but i like the way it sounded in my head out there um and uh you know, small scale Bitcoin mining is getting farther and farther away from just being being reality. Other than like mini solo miners like the bit axes and the other ones. Um, so I, I mean, I'm probably going to deploy a few more Bitcoin miners just to kind of round out my my big expansion and initiative here. Uh, but I really need to turn my head back to solar and spend my time and money there uh, because I need to get my effective electricity rate down and uh you know i could deploy solar and maybe either on a large scale get my effective electricity rate down say like five cents and now like a lot of things are looking interesting a lot of things are like much more viable or i look at running a bitcoin mining operation that when the sun's up the miners are up when the sun's down the gear goes off right i could run anything and make money that way would it be the right decision, the best return, all that? That's a whole different discussion. Some big numbers, some big crunch in there. We'll see. But hey, I'm Voskar on the Voskar on YouTube channel. This is 10 Seconds of Tales, who is, of course, my first kid, my beautiful pup, my sweet little daughter. I don't know what you think about dogs, but I think the right dog is the biggest blessing in the world. i said this before, and it, you can say it's cheesy, but I thought I was picking up Tails and I was going to change her life, but she changed my life and uh she's just been an incredible just, pe just piece of my life piece of the pack uh part of our family and a lot of people said oh once you had a kid you you're gonna see you're gonna feel differently my love for tails is not diminished by the love for my son with how nasty this world is i got plenty of real estate on this heart thank you goodbye good luck i hope you find some happiness at the end of the day we live we die try to have some fun find a little happiness along the way and tax is a f***ing scam. Ah.